What's up everybody, Astrocatical here, welcome to the Astrocastrophe, and tonight we are playing The Terrible Old Man, a game by H.P. Lovecraft, a short story no less, which has been adapted by Cloak and Dagger Games. Now if you don't know who they are, they are the same people who brought you The Excavation of Hobbs Borrow, a game I have talked about greatly on this channel, which I recommend to anybody who plays horror and or adventure games. It is a short story, this one. Uh, one of Lovecraft's shortest stories. I think it's literally a page long. I don't, I don't think it's any longer than that. It's one of his stories that I have not read. I'm not sure if this uh, ties into the Kalalu mythos. And I am saying Kalalu just this one time. I don't mean to sound smug or anything. Kalulu, Kalalu, Cthulhu. <clears throat> the pronunciation is something I don't think we are ever going to figure out. So I'm just throwing every enunciation I can out there when I say Cthulhu, Kalalu, Kululu, we don't know. <clears throat> so it's just a plethora of names and people tend to stick with Cthulhu for the most part. But uh, I don't think this ties into the mythos. I th well, it might and it may not, but uh, this is a straightforward Lovecraft uh, story and adaptation. <clears throat> We're going to see real quick here. Again, I've never read the short story. I've read a lot of his work, but this is just one that I have never gotten around to. So we're going to start real quick here. All right, the terrible, terrible old man. So, Angela, when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours' drive to Boston. How long we staying there for? Oh, I'd say just a night. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Oh, he's excited. Incredible. Sznek? Skank? Znank? I don't know. I'm just gonna call him Skank. Skank, why don't you go over there, get your patsy ass over there, and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old broad the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. But her old manual here spends it on a, a hooch then let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Left click to interact, right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move cursor to top of screen. I am ready. I guess we're gonna get some beers real quick. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston, Innsmouth? None of your damn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers. Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Two dollars. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. Sigh. <laughs> Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear, we sat a whole chocolate cake in front of his face and he didn't do so much as blink. The boy's been affected. 
You taking him to the dock, Reeves? You'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run in with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know, that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town, pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. Doubloons? Doubloons? Is that how you say it? Doubloons? I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient, I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Master Ellis. It's as if he's speaking to his old crew. Yeah, man, most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. <laughs> Something you need to teach Dickie a bit of respect. And I, I tell you what, people are always like claiming that Lovecraft is like I don't know. Um, you know, like he, he's very stereotypical of like Southern people. You know, like if any people, he, he is marginalizing in his stories. It is Southern people. If anybody, just just look at the dialogue in this. I'm not saying it's the creators of the game. That is literally how they talk in every Lovecraft Lovecraft story. And people say so many absurd things about him. Yeah, he he's, he was a bit of a touchy guy when it came to his politics. He hated. He hated the two-party system. Um, I've read a lot of notes by him. But, like, if there's anybody he fucking picks at, it's fucking Southern people. Just look at any of the inbred fucking toothless redneck fucking dialogue he gives them. And they're always doing toothless redneck fucking things like fucking their sisters. Read, read, um... Which story is it? Uh, God, it's that, um... It's that really gross one. Where's that, like, where's that, uh... It's one of his more famous stories. It's like uh, there's this monster in a barn that uh, it's like they're continuously feeding it or something, and then it breaks loose and it's like fucking invisible or something like that. And its twin brother has like a hoof growing out of his fucking ass, and it's really weird. Uh, I've read it. Uh, on and off and I've watched many adaptations of it but uh yeah that's totally like this weird sister fucking sort of story in Brad sort of you know the, the, the sort of thing that you 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 don't hear about when it comes to him you know like if there's anyone he marginalizes in his story it is southern people is what I'm saying so what happened was Dicky threw a stone at his window you see and the old man caught him in the act Give him a good talking to, I bet. Dickie won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and well, they aren't going to be happy no matter how feeble they are. I've told him there's not leaving the house for a month apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency, the man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east uncountable years back and brought untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date with that broad? He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. We'll spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Doubloons? Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah. He's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to his bottles. Rich and senile old fart. Ha <laughs> ha, this sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got to offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, skank. Find out and we may find riches tonight. All right. He's gonna kick our asses out the door if I start helping myself as much as I'd like to. 
Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What is it to you, stranger? Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed, he is. Shuffles about his with his cane dropping all, gold all over the show. Where does the old man live? His house along the coast, crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses in Kinsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of isn't him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? Treasure hunter, are you? No. <laughs> Good, the last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why did you want to know his address? Why should we trust you, outsiders? We wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh yes, what's the name of the local paper then? The Kingsport Commune. Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do we know we can trust you, outsider? We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you want... Okay, we already heard that. We found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. What's the item? An old ornament. Let's have a look then. It's outside in the car. Bull dust. Get out of here. Man. We're traveling salesmen. Oh yes, what are you selling? Shoes. Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing, I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Hello again. Okay, so I tried this one. Tried this one. Tried... Uh, we are his long lost relatives. You expect us to believe that? You are clearly not of Kingsport stock. Okay, so I don't think. I have to try something else here. Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, Greaseball. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate somewhere else, maybe to your mother. Ha! Struck out again, skank. Suit yourself. I don't want to look outside. some news clippings about an incident at the local port. They are from a paper called the Kingsport Bugle. Oh, there we go. Blah, blah, blah. I interview blah, blah, blah. The Kingsport Bugle. Ah, that old rag has been printed for years. Lies, lies, and more lies. Damn it. They've tried to decorate this dump with some old prints. Mold cards, post it in frames. A local Kingsport fisherman. I'm already dreaming of spending gold doubloons, skank. What are you going to buy manual? What are you going to buy manual? A dog, one of them fancy real ones, going to have him name him Jackson. 
You got the address yet? I'm working on it. Uh, 